Hello, today I will show you how to remove the side vents on our Mercedes uh, and that one too. So the, pro the process is a bit different uh, on each side. On this side we will have to remove uh, the dash and on the other side we will have to remove the glove box. Uh, so uh, we will start on this side first and then we'll go on the other side. Okay, we'll start by removing the, the dash. For this, I will use the, the tools to remove it. Uh, I will do it quickly. If you want to do it fully, uh, you can look at my other video on my channel. On my channel. And uh, I will show you how it's done exactly uh, in every details. Now that we have removed the dash, uh, we can remove our part. So to remove it, it's very easy. There's no screws, there's no nothing. We just need to disconnect the, the, the vent uh, tube that's behind. And to remove it here is just some clips. Uh, so depending if it's been removed before or not, uh, you may have a maximum of four, sometimes three, two, or sometimes none, uh, depending because it, it tends to uh, get loose and, and, and drop. So I will show you. We need a, a very fine screwdriver. Here I've got a, a Torx uh, key yeah, that's very, very fine. Uh, so you need something like it or a very fine uh, knife as well. Okay. And you will see here on the grill, you know, at the top and at the bottom, you will see there's some little clips. Uh, there's two at the bottom and two at the top. So you need to put the point inside it and make a lever. Okay. So when you make the lever, it will get loose and you'll be able to pull it towards you. So I will do it now. And you see, as you can see, start moving immediately. So I will try to show you and not being in the way of the camera as well. Okay, as you can see, it's moving out. Uh, sometimes there's a bit of resistance because you need to disconnect the tube at the back. Okay. If it's still resisting the front, just check all this. Here we go. It's now out. Now you need to disconnect the um, electric cable. So same thing, you just unclip it. There we go. And now we have the part. Huh? Uh, if your bulb is uh, fused, now is the time to remove it. Okay. So as you can see, this is what I was talking about before. Huh? That's on each side of the part. And uh, as you can see, you place the part inside and you make lever. Okay, so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty easy. Yeah? The tube at the back get fitted here. You can see there's some uh, little hooks here, huh? so it, it gets clipped on it. Um, so that's why we have to remove the, the dash to make sure it's get, uh, it gets fitted properly. Yeah? If not, the vent, uh, the air will go on the all, all over the place. So to fit it, it's the same thing, but at reverse. So we place the electric cable. Okay, it makes a big noise, so you know it's fitted. And you start pushing it in. Now, you need to make sure the, the tube at the back fits in, and you push it through. Okay, here we go. Now this one is fitted properly. We just double check that the tube at the back it's in. And yes, it is. Okay, so now here we go. It's done. Um, we just need to fit back the, the dash, connect all the cables, and we're done on this side. Now let's go on the other side. Okay, now on this side, we need to open the glove box. And we will need to remove uh, that part here. So... Uh, the light to remove it we just push it down you know on the front part the rear you just leave it okay and you pull it towards you and it comes out you disconnect it and it's out now if you look carefully um, there's uh, seven uh, little clips that we need to remove that you probably won't see on the camera because it's black on black but here at the bottom we got three and at the top we got four yeah. So to remove them, we need to use a very fine screwdriver, flat, and we're going to make lever. So let me show you. There we go. And it's out. Okay. That's what you need to remove. So we're going to remove the seven of them and let's continue. 
Well, now that we have removed all those little bits, uh, we place them on the side. And we now need to remove the other part of the clip. For that, it's very easy. You just make a lever at the bottom. And normally, you see, it pops out. Okay, and now we have it. Okay, so we do that with all of them. Uh, if right now you feel a bit uh, tired and you feel you need a bit of energy, now is the time to have a little bit of beer. <sighs> well, now it goes much better. So let's continue. There we go. As you can see, just by pulling it, uh, it pops out. As you can see, very very easy. Up. Here we go. And the last one. Okay, now it's all done. Now we need to remove it. So this, if you make a bit of pressure at the bottom, it should come out. You see, just to go above the, the lock. And there we go, it's out. Now we have it. Now we can remove this. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna remove that, that part, huh, which is exactly the same as removing on the other side, except that it's just the way that you access it that's different. So here we've got more access to remove the, uh, the tube at the back. And here, same thing, huh? we just make a lever with our trusty pointy Torx uh, screwdriver and we pull it towards us it can be a bit tricky sometimes but as you can see it's not uh, it's not like rocket science there we go the important thing is to do it well if not uh, you can break it huh? okay so as you can see it's now removed um, as you can see on this side I also have a LED bulb huh? Um, I tend to change all my bulbs for, for this uh, because they are brighter, uh, you know, they last longer, etc. Uh, so if you, if you want, now is the time to change them, okay? So in order to place it all back together, uh, well, same thing, huh? just make sure you, you clip that well inside. Um, okay, uh, you put in place, up, push, make sure that the the hose is clipped properly inside usually you should make a noise once it's clipped uh, and you can feel it as well and here we go so now that it's done uh, we just place back the the rest here so it's the same thing but just reverse huh? uh, before you put that um, before you put that make sure you place it inside uh, push it all in put your clips and the job is done so I hope this uh, has taught you something and we'll see you on the next uh, video. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video that I've shown you and you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel and give me a like. Um, and if you feel like it, you can leave me a comment as well. Well, see you on the next video.